Apex Field Day delegates and fans online that was watching our Veeam Enhanced Nas backup session yesterday. Great questions. I don't think I got to answer some of those questions. So I wanted to really just give you a quick two minute video, um, but also a, an explanation a bit more into that change file tracking technology that we that we've developed for our for our NAS backup. So I mentioned around the flexibility about what that source can look like. I mentioned around change file tracking. There was some good questions from Chris and other guys in the room. Um, and there's also a few questions online as well. So I wanted to, to really focus in on that today, as well as that snapshot friendly. So let's get into it. So from a change file tracking, you saw that we built out the uh, the file structure of folder and file structure here. So folder one, folder two, etc. The day one, as I mentioned in the videos that we're not magicians, we have to walk the whole file tree. We have to then take those backups. We can make things more performant by scaling out our file proxy that allows to have additional um, concurrent tasks to work with. So how do we do that? Once we've got that first backup done, we I've also created something called that vCache that I mentioned. That vCache gives us a an understanding of what that file and folder structure looks like. So what we're doing there is we're calculating the hash sum based on the name, the size, and the modified data, or sorry, the modified date for every item in the share. So whether that's folders or files. So that's ha that happens on the first pass, and that allows us to see what's what's what those um, attributes are. That, that value is then stored in that vcache file, which sits in that cache repository. Then we come around to do an incremental backup. So we begin that, that incremental backup. As you can see here, file D has changed, which will also in turn change those attributes for NAS, for folder one, for folder three, as well as file D. So we have a single file change within the folder, which is then reflected in the hash sums up to the top level of the NAS share. And then before starting that read process, we calculate the hash sum from an existing item at the source and make the, the comparison between the two V caches. At that point, we're then ready to take that fast, efficient backup. Our cache repository reports that those change files and folders to our file proxy and then we go and gather those 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 files for the for the initial backup or for that incremental backup. So yeah, to simplify that, the cache repository then instructs those file proxies on what files and folders require backing up based on those comparisons between those attributes that we're capturing. The vcache is then stored again for a ne the, the next incremental run. Another thing that was questioned was around the scalability. So from a scalability point of view, I mentioned how we could have multiple proxies that will have the ability to handle not only the, the folders within a share. So um, it was Enrico that asked the question about a, a specific use case within healthcare where they may have one folder structure and then millions of files within that. What are proxies? So here I'm saying folders in the, in the diagram, we need to change this, but basically multiple proxies will handle the files will be processed in portions by every proxy. So that again allows us to have those concurrent tasks scaled out accordingly across all of our file proxies. 